James Knox Polk. First a lawyer, now the Democratic candidate, next the President of the United States of America. He will lead us to acquire California, Texas, and the Oregon Territory. 54-40 or fight. If you believe in the manifest destiny, vote for James Knox Polk. James Knox Polk now stands as the Democratic Party's nominee for the presidential election of 1844. After gaining more support to be the Democratic candidate than Van Buren, Polk emerged as a dark horse candidate, one whom no one thought would come to run for such a position, but evidently, his experiences as a perspicacious lawyer, his determination, and his goals for the successful future of our country, have inevitably led him to stand in line for the White House. His main domestic and foreign platform consists of the four great measures, the settlement of the Oregon Territory and entailing disputes with Great Britain, the acquisition of California, the reduction of the tariff to a revenue basis, and the complete and permanent establishment of the United States Treasury. If elected president, he will lower tariffs, particularly that which is known as the Black Tariff, which will serve as a great benefit for the South if he is elected. Also, he will develop a stabilized U.S. banking system via the establishment of an independent treasury. Furthermore, Polk hopes to annex Texas from Mexico into the United States. Also, the acquisition of the new territory as Polk plans will give the United States control of the Hudson River from foreign countries, specifically Great Britain. Since Polk calls for expansion that included Texas, California, and the entire Oregon Territory, whose northern boundary is the latitude line of 54 degrees and 40 minutes, the manifest destiny will be pursued. 5440 or fight. If you want America to have a successful future and to be a major superpower in the Western Hemisphere, vote for James Knox Polk.